me and my shadow strolling down the avenue ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. me and my shadow not a soul can bust this team into we stick together like glue Hi friends, hey, welcome back to the Expeditionary Johnny channel. Hey, if you're new to my channel, you're going to see the theme to my channel is to help remove obstacles to getting outdoors. Typically, that could mean things like time, ideas, or maybe equipment. Today, we're talking about ideas. Hey, so hey, it is late January, which means Groundhog Day is right around the corner. So if you're not familiar with Groundhog Day, the story goes that the groundhog is going to emerge on February 2nd. If he sees this shadow and is scared away, he's going to go back to bed and then we get six more weeks of winter. So how can we have a little bit of fun and celebrate Groundhog Day? Let's use the shadow to do a little bit of solar navigation. Now solar navigation is not nearly as precise as using a compass, but it has been proven effective for many millennia. And so let's just have a little fun with it, okay? And I think we all pretty much know that the sun, while it rises in the east, is going to go round to the south, going around to the west, right? That means it's going to be casting shadows in a northern direction, right? It's going to start out, it's going to start out west southwest, work its way up to northwest, to north northwest, to north the north northeast etc 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 right? right so let's have a little bit of fun let's make a rudimentary solar compass okay all i've done here is i've taken a, a piece of wood and drilled a screw through it i've taken a little bit of uh, taken a little bit of cordage went around with a grease pencil and i made a circle now why a circle well the sun you know from our perspective is going to go around the earth in a circle that's 360 degrees right and we also know that there's 24 hours in a day, right? So if we do a quick little bit of math, we know that 360 degrees divided by 24 hours in a day, that means about every hour, that sun is going to be moving about 15 degrees around this circle. In a cl perfect classroom setting, we know that the sun is going to rise somewhere here in the east and it's going to cast a shadow over here in the west direction, right? And then as the sun goes around to the south and then up to the west, eventually it's going to cast a shadow toward the eastern direction about at 6 p.m. So after we've drawn our circle, in order to make our solar compass, we want to start breaking this up in quadrants, okay? Uh, first thing I did was I marked east, all right? I went 90 degrees. I said this is east or 90 degrees, right? On the opposite end of the north, why we have the south, so we indicate that as south. And then on the far left, um, and then on the far left-hand side, we're going to indicate that as west. So after that, then we break up each quadrant in half, and that's going to help us figure out northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. All right. Now that we've dissected each quadrant into half, and we've got a 45-degree angle between north and northeast. Let's break that up into thirds, all right? Now, as you might recall, 360 degrees divided by 24 hours is 15 degrees. If we break up this 45 degree angle into thirds, that'll give us 15 degree increments, all right? Or each hour that the sun moves. So how do we use this solar compass? Well, first thing, go ahead and mark an arrow, all right, at the bottom of your board to just remind you which direction you're walking, okay? All right. Next, shadow. All right, you let this thing cast a shadow across your board. So we know in general, at noontime, the sun is going to be to the south, that direction, right? It's going to cast a shadow to the north, okay? And so if I were facing this direction, which is west, uh, I would see the shadow here, and I would just kind of turn my body to the right until the screw cast a shadow up to my zero or my north degree setting on my compass. Now, if it were a little bit after 1 p.m., like when I filmed here on a sunny day, uh, what I, you do then is you cast your shadow until it crosses the number one, okay? And then the direction of your board is gonna tell you which way is north. 
Now you'll see here on this image that when I tested for true north, I was off by about 15 to 20 degrees. And why is that? So there's a thing called solar uh, declination. Now keep in mind the earth is tilted and also when the earth orbits the sun, it doesn't go in a perfect circle. It's actually kind of a, a bit of an ellipse. So at certain times of the year, we're closer to the sun. Other times we're further away, right? So this time of year for where I'm at, uh, there's a declination around 20 degrees. So if I count for that, I now know to adjust about one hour this time of year on my solar compass. So once you get your bearings and figure out which way north is, from there you can decide your uh, direction of travel, right? So if you want to go east, do a right face. If you want to go west, go left face. Want to go south? Do an about face. So you might ask, how do I simplify this solar compass so it's not so complicated when accounting for that time of the day? Well, I got a great idea from Dave Canterbury at Pathfinder School. He just took a round. He took a branch. You take your folding saw and cut that off. Then you cut it up into major segments here. So I've got the four quadrants, north, south, east, and west. Divided that in half to get our other major uh, bearings of direction, you know, northeast, southeast, etc. right? So how does it work? Well, first you start out figuring out north by the, the, the shadows, right? So you face north. Then we take our dial. We place that over the screw or nail or stick or whatever you have there. And then we take the north setting and we place that into the shadow. So at noon time, when the sun is in the south, it's casting a northern shadow. Uh, we line it up here on true north and uh, we walk that way. So if we decide we want to go to easterly direction, what we do is we take our little round and we turn it until east is in the shadow. And then we turn our bodies to the right until the shadow goes back over north. Then we follow the arrow on our board and walk that direction. Now in the same fashion, if I want to head west, if I've got my north in the shadow, right, I turn our dial until west is in the shadow. Now I'm going to turn my body to the left until the shadow goes back across our north. Then I march this direction because I'm following the arrow. So the key to using this bad boy is each time you uh, decide to change directions, stop, face north, set this round to the right setting, and then you turn your body to the left or the right until that shadow goes back to the north bearing. Then you find an object. Uh, then you find an object in it in the distance, and you walk to that object. All right, so let's do a quick test run. I'm going to do a walk around the block, just kind of showing you how it works. All right, we're getting ready for a walk, and if it were a sunny day, the sun would be in that direction, casting a direction in the northern direction. Okay, so what I would do is I would set my compass to the north. All right, have that shadow going through the north, and we're going to walk that away. So I've arrived at my first intersection and I'm going to be turning left. Since I knew I was heading uh, north, when I turn to the left, that means I'm heading west. Now how do we verify that on our sundial? Alright, so what you do is you take your little round, you turn it until your W for west is in the shadow. Now, so what we do now is we take our board, level it out, and we turn our body to the left until the shadow goes across our north setting on our little dial. And because the arrow tells me to go this direction, that means I'm gonna head in a westerly direction. All right, time for a change of direction. We're gonna be turning left. So if I was already heading west and I turn left, that means south. All right, so what we wanna do is we face north again. So as a reminder, you factor in the time of the day and solar declination to figure out which way is the shadow being cast so you can get yourself reoriented. From there, since we're going to go in a southerly direction, we take our dial and we turn the dial until the south is in the shadow. And then we turn our bodies, we're doing about face, until the shadow is back in north. And then we follow the arrow on our board. That'll get us going in a southerly direction. All right, time for another change of directions, okay? So... I've, we've been heading in a southerly direction. I'm going to be turning left, which we know that's going to head us, make us go into an easterly direction. Now, how do we use our sundial? Well, I just think wash, rinse, and repeat. Get yourself reoriented. Okay, we're going to find the north, right? You account for the time of the day, right? 
And then also any solar declination that you might have depending on where you're, you're located at, right? We let that shadow tell us which way is north. And now since we're going to be heading east, we're going to turn our dial until east is in the shadow. And now uh, I'm going to turn my body to the right. So once the shadow is crossing our north setting on our dial, then we know if we follow the arrow on our board, we're going to be heading in an easterly direction. And here we are at our final turn. So again, we've been heading in a easterly direction. I'm going to be turning left. That means I'm going to go north. All right, so wash, rinse, and repeat, right? Okay, so we account for the time of the day, our solar declination. We figure, figure out where our shadow should land so we can head in a northerly direction. Then we'll take our little dial. We'll go ahead and turn that until the north is in the shadow. All right, then we, and with confidence, we can head in a northerly direction. So again, I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, you guys have a great week and a happy Groundhog Day. All right, bye. See you on the next one. Bye.